Hey, welcome back. Frost here. Um, and today is the big exploration uh, video. Move away from the loud millstones over there. Yeah, so... In this chest, I got myself a handful of items I'm gonna need to for the exploration. Some armor in case we get into some tough encounters. Got myself a bit of arrows. I crafted a second map, so when we... Uh, fully explore this one right here and I'm planning to go all the way to the top um yeah uh, if I do go all the way to the top I want to get the second map out and start uh doing a bit more exploring over on that side and uh you might be wondering why I have these guys in there it's because I actually want to craft myself a new uh weapon the composite bow the composite bow shoots uh, arrows a lot further than a regular bow does. However, it can't shoot the rotten arrows. So that's why I crafted over a stack of regular arrows. And just being able to shoot a, a bow a lot further than normal, that's, that's pretty nice. But yeah, another thing you'll see here is a boat. There's the boat and also a stone shovel. And uh, it's because I did read the comments last time. Um, and uh, the fabric doesn't make you move faster. What you're actually meant to do is hold the stone shovel and you use it to paddle around. You see, uh, I'm a little bit faster than before. Paddle, paddle, paddle. <laughs> All right, now, so what you're actually meant to do is hold the sail out and you'll start moving in the water, uh, kind of like normal boat speed. This is a much better than uh, not using the, uh, not using the sail. But you have to be careful because you can break your boat uh, doing this. So, so when you, I guess when you just get close to uh, the coast, you just want to cruise like this, because the boat will never break like that, and then you can get out. Alright, the sun has risen, and it's time to just head out. And there's the slime, alright. Um, while I'm exploring, I, I think I want to explain in a bit more detail about the uh, hardcore spawn area. Um, I just, I don't think I did a great job expl explaining it last time, so this time I like to explain it with a bit more, uh, pizzazz. And here's me trying something a bit new and different. So, my second attempt at explaining the hardcore radius and why you want to explore. Also, a quick note, if you're wondering, this is not the map of my world, it's just a random one I generated in a mist. So, in a 2,000 block radius around spawn, all villages, temples, and a few other things are looted and empty. This is the fully abandoned radius. Once you pass that, you enter the semi-abandoned radius. Here the temples contain their special loots and traps in them, however the villages are still semi-abandoned. Meaning that while you can find some villagers and wheat at this distance, there's still some resources you can't get. Villages are fully intact after another 1,000 blocks. So the 2,000 blocks around spawn is the abandoned range, and the 2,000 to 3,000 block range is the semi-abandoned, and everything after that is intact. You'll eventually want to explore these structures because they provide you unique resources in this mod that you can't get anywhere else. For instance, villages are the only place you can find wheat, carrots, and potatoes. Temples also provide special rewards that I'll show you once I find them, but I don't want to spoil everything right now. All right, so uh, that could have gone better. Um, I opened the second map a little too close to the edge, <laughs> or maybe I, uh, or maybe it's where I crafted the map or something. But <laughs> I messed up, and now I can't. I need. I need to go back. I also forgot to bring my composite bow. Uh, I only got this bow from a lucky skeleton kill. Yeah. It's not it's not been the best night for me. But hey, you know, there's some uh, good things that, have, that came out of this. One, um, we got some spruce saplings. Uh, spruce wood. That's always nice. Um, uh, spruce wood is one of the best wood types to build out of, in my opinion. Um, most, people opin most people's opinion. <laughs> and um, I've created this shelter area over here. So... In case I ever die and I find this area, I can use just these little bits of, um, I probably should have gave myself a pick. Hmm. 
I like to use these little bits of uh, resources here to get myself going. Uh, so I can uh, come back eventually. Uh, I'll know where I am with this chest. I can use these resources to get me going just a little bit. And I'll be able to uh, recover. But yeah, uh, I need to be heading back to base. Because I messed up. <sighs> yeah, so that didn't really uh, turn out as well as I wanted it to. I forgot to bring this. I can't believe I can't believe that. Um, but yeah, uh, it made me think. There's probably a handful of other things I should have brought along. Uh, for example, I want to bring some hemp fibers. Uh, maybe I don't know if I need to bring a stack. I'll bring a stack. So when I left, uh, so when I left that chest over there, uh, I left like some uh, some planks and some cobblestone. It's because you can craft the planks into sticks and then the cobblestone into loose stones. However, you need string in order to actually build the stone tool. So that's why I need to bring the hemp strings. And there's a spider on my base. Ah, uh, so I crafted a new map. Um. And the next time, uh, won't be like that. Uh, I won't make that type of mistake. Make the same mistake again. Uh, so I know that the series is called the Better Wolves Survival Guide, which means that I'm trying to teach you how to play this mod. Um, and for the most part, I do know what I'm doing most of the time. Um, it's just that a handful of times that I may make mistakes here and there. Uh, so bear with me. Uh, this is a learning experience for you guys as much as it as it as as it is for me. Uh, words are hard. But yeah, um, so. This trip right here, this is what I'm going to be bringing this time. A bit more food. I'm going to bring a bit more cobble. Bring the composite bow. Uh, and I actually think... I want to craft myself a new pair of shears. Remember, shears are important for dealing with creepers. I guess we could put the arrows in there. And, um, it's starting to become morning. So, I should be heading out. Trip number two. All right, so now that I am no longer visible on this map, and I've gone all the way up, let's see. Hey, all right, so that's how you do it. Man, oh, I got hit by a jungle spider. Uh, and you can see my health right there, dipping pretty low. And also, um, see, I got poisoned, and I also got hunger. The uh, did the hunger debuff. Yeah, so that's why I, I've been kind of avoiding. Getting into the jungles. <laughs> Ooh, this is something useful here. Hmm. No, it still looks like an abandoned village. Still good to check this place out. Yeah, no, this is just an abandoned village. Hmm. So I need to go a bit further this way. Because I'm still in the spawn radius. Oh well. I spy with my eye a witch hut. Witch huts are pretty cool. No, they're not really. <laughs> but uh, around the witch hut, there should be... Ooh, that's a... That's a decent amount of witches over there. But the reason why I got the comp bow, so we could deal with these witches. Wow, this bow. Right? I swear I can aim better than this. I'm just not used to the uh, comp bow. It shoots very fa uh, very far. <laughs> Usually have to worry about the arc when you're shooting with a regular bow, but the, uh, the comp bow, you don't really. And right here we got some mushrooms, a flower pot, and the big thing is the brewing stand. Eh, I don't the round arrows. All right, uh, that's, this is the map I've been exploring, so, uh, so if you see from the bottom right there, that's, uh, 
where we came from from the other map. So this is how much I need to explore. I pretty much need to get to like the halfway point on this map in order to actually find unlooted villages. And my inventory is kind of full. Uh, no, I guess I could keep exploring. Um, uh, if I can find some wheat, maybe uh, potatoes and carrots, that would be great. That's like the main thing we're looking for here. Anyways, um, back to exploring, so... I'll show you something cool if it ha happens to appear. Alright. So here's another village right here. And this should be outside the spawn radius. The... Um... The hardcore spawn radius or the or the like fully abandoned spawn radius so this should have villagers although the villagers here may be in a state that will make things unpleasant for me yeah you see right there you see right there there's a zombie villager <laughs> it doesn't burn in daylight and they're really fast so i've got a kind of dumb game uh Oh wait, no. Oh, I messed up. Well, I do know that this village is uh, semi-abandoned since there are villagers. Well, zombie villagers. And remember that they're ridiculously fast. <laughs> Maybe I want to come in and come out real quick. I should uh, have come here a bit more prepared. Let's see, is there anything? See, this is there's a villager right there. Hmm. Oh, see, right there, that's what we're looking for, the wheat. Now that I think about it, perhaps it's best to come back here with a bit more supplies at hand. I can trap the, uh, build some contraptions to trap the villagers behind. Because uh, right now I don't really have the tools on me to deal with that. And I can't collect the wheat until it's like fully grown. I have to wait till it's fully grown. There's another village over there! Well, this is the village hotspot. We know where the village is. It's on this map here. I can come back to, get, uh, to grab those villagers later. At least I got the brewing stand. That was one of the things I was looking for in this trip. But yeah, um... I guess I'll be heading home now. Oh! My boat broke. Oh, and also my torch is burnt out. Uh, that's the reason why I carry this flint and steel, so I could uh, light them back up a lot more easily. Oh man, a lot of this trope, uh, trope, a lot of this trip was on boat. Uh -huh. uh, you know, I should have brought myself a uh, a chisel so I could make a workbench somewhere. I brought myself wood because I thought, hey, I can make myself some. Uh, like a boat, in case the one I'm carrying on me breaks. But that requires a workbench, which I don't have access to. Well, I'm back. Uh, whoa. Okay. Uh, yeah, so... Uh, this farm's kind of defunct right now. <laughs> oh, jeez. So what happened is, um, the spawn ch- spawn ch- ugh. Words. So, uh, what happened, um, is that the spawn chunks are loaded, uh, even when I'm, like, far away from it. Usually chunks unload, but since this is right at spawn, the chunks don't unload. Which means that these, uh, uh, these farms are loaded, and the farms, they grow the, the, um, the weeds. There's not much I can really do about that. Which, um, I should... <laughs> Well, there's something I could do about it. I could build the uh, planter to deal with uh, the weeds that grow. Um, man, this is just sad. Also, the pigs seem to require a lot more land than uh, I first allocated them. Hmm, that's something else I need to be working on. But let's uh, ignore the non-existent wheat uh, farms I have now. Uh, instead, uh, I want to see if I can end... Uh, well, I don't know how long this episode's been going for, but I want to see if I can't 
head over back to the nether, uh, back to that nether fortress. So yeah, I want to be heading over to the nether because potions are pretty useful. Mostly regen potions and health potions since uh, in this mod, the uh, developer, Flower Child, pretty much uh, heavily, ooh, that's a creeper over there, heavily nerfed uh, uh, health regen. Like your health regens, you regen a heart, half a heart, every, ooh, I feel like this tall grass is going to burn. You regen a half a heart every, uh, every 30 seconds. So, in order... I hate this. I hate when this happens. I don't know what to do about it. I don't know how to prevent that. I, I, it, it sucks. Oh my god. Isn't that a lucky drop right there? <laughs> oh my, get me out of this place. I'm out of food. Oh... I'm scared. This place stresses me out. I'm so fragile, even with all my diamond gear. <laughs> but, with this, I should be able to craft me some healing potions, fire resistant potions, so I can feel more secure in the nether, which is always great. Um, and while I'm here, uh, might as well build some uh, of the nether wart farm right here. Uh, nether wart doesn't grow in the overworld in nether and wolves, so that's planted here, right? Alright, it's neat. So we got ourselves some nether wart from the nether fortress, but we also got this guy right here. Um, this guy is um, not usable right now. You can hear me right clicking, doesn't do anything, but later this will be useful. And we also got one of these guys. And of course, we need uh, two more of them uh, to spawn in the wither. Get the wither star. So, potions. Uh, we need to make glass. And how do we make glass? Well, let's check out here in the craft guide. Glass is made with eight sand and one nether quartz. And you get four glass that way. So, uh, we have some kind of glass here. And I got some nether quartz down here. So, let's get this melting up. All right, turn on the windmill. This guy should be up and running now. Just gotta wait for the power to go all the way down. Right? Yep. Right? Yeah. Glass. And I believe bottles are still the same shape, the same recipe. Let's fill this guy up. Some water. Right? So, basic brewing. Um, nether wart first. Same as vanilla. Right, we get awkward potions. Uh, it's the next bit that's uh, interesting because most things are changed for how to make the brewing potions. For healing potions, we need to use mysterious glands. And right here, we have ourselves healing potions. And it's nice that they stack. Let's uh, actually test this out. How many hearts do they heal? All right. I believe that was three hearts, right? Yeah, but uh, I think that will do it uh, for this episode. Sorry it took a little while for it to get this episode out. I decided to take a just a little break, but I'm going to come back and do some more uh, videos, uh, more uh, guide stuff than just my uh, Let's Play world. Uh, and I hope you like the edit, the, the fancy editing I did in between this episode. I've been trying to push my editing skills a bit more, and um, I hope it reflects and you guys enjoy this episode. Anyways, uh, this is Frost. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.